Just take a look at some of these stories and headlines. Is this junior rivalry more heated than the old firm? Move aside, Rangers and Celtic. Here is a rivalry and hatred, arguably much more fierce than the two Glasgow Giants. What about this story? Police on horseback had to break up the trouble between Auchinleck, Tolbert and Cumnock, which continued after the match. The notoriety, the reverberation of an occasionally brutal encounter has been hard earned. It's nowhere near as bad as it used to be though, said Henry Dummigan, the Auchinleck Talbot secretary from when this story was written. In fairness though, the history of the fixture contains plenty of graphic moments. Bobby McCulloch, the legendary tough and uncompromising former Cumnock centre-half, can remember his father Maxi being attacked during one of the meetings between the sides. His dad was also the centre-half for Cumnock and was set upon by a brolly wielding woman from Auchinleck who invaded the pitch. And this is a photo that just says it all. This just goes to show you how big this rivalry is and this is probably one of the most requested games that I get. Every time it comes up, every season, I've still not been able to get to one, but this is one of the most, if not the most, fiercest rivalry in Scotland. It is potentially the biggest non-league derby in the world and quite possibly the most fierce derby that you've never heard of before. Are you going to the game? Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna be there as well. Oh. And so how far's come then? Like Three miles or something, is it? I walked from Cumnock. You walked from Cumnock just there? I'm right at the beginning of Cumnock, so it's a mile. Oh, so, so it's really close then? A mile, the yeah. home head, uh, And it was all old? Even closer because just over the hill there, it's yeah. not room for where Prince Charles, King Charles bought the houses. Oh, well, good luck, mate. All yeah. the best. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm from England, but oh, yeah. um, you're it's... vlogging. I'm vlogging, yes. Yeah. David, what a guy. Yeah, saw me filming the sign. Are you vlogging? And then uh, just chatting about the derby. See, already this early in the morning, a few hours before kickoff, it's already building the excitement here in this small village. These mining villages within Ayrshire have given global football a lot more than just the derbies that happen these days that often get forgotten about. Not this one, this is a big derby that a lot of people in Scotland will know about, maybe the wider world know, but these small mining villages in Ayrshire have given us Jock Steen, who was the first British man to lift the European Cup as a manager. We have the legend of Manchester United, Sir Matt Busby. I don't even need to tell you what he gave Manchester United and the Busby Babes and the European Cup win 10 years after the unfortunate demise in 1958 of the Munich air disaster and also Bill Shankly as well. I believe that those three managers, Bill Shankly obviously the father of modern day Liverpool you could say, um, I believe those three were born within a 20 mile radius of each other in Ayrshire and they all came from mining communities. So think of the type of person you had to be to be a miner in, I don't know, 100 years ago um, when the industries were thriving. Uh, you've had to be a really hard man. I suppose that really helped them become um, good tough managers back in the 60s and 70s and the 50s or whatever so um, yeah I guess that helped them um, but nowadays the mines have all shut down and uh, yeah these areas have seen better days I think it's fair to say and a lot of the people in these areas now live their lives through the football clubs hence why these derbies are so big Colin Chisholm, commercial manager at Ockenlake Talbot. So today, Talbot versus Cumnock. How big is this derby in Scottish football? Oh, it's definitely a big game. Uh, it always has been over the years. Uh, and I think, I mean, it's a great attraction, uh, not only to the local district, but with the district as well. Uh, I think every other club acknowledges that. That is one of the big derbies. Within the whole country, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And how much does it stem from the history of the two villages being mining villages as well? The mines have now obviously shut down. And oh, I think it stems that a great deal. Uh, I mean, originally uh, there were a considerable number of junior football teams in this area, and they're all more or less formed for the the mining villages. So you always had this rivalry. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, with the, the closure of the mines, etc., uh, that has reduced a bit. But uh, the rivalry is still there. In terms of two football teams, then how are they both getting on this season? Who's who's favourite going into today? I think it's an evenly balanced game. Uh, I mean, both teams at the moment are have found a bit of form. Uh, we started off the season 
poorly, but uh, you have to take into account we had 12 or 13 new players this season, which is the biggest turnover I think we've ever had. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it takes some time for those players to gel. Yeah. Uh, but they've started to find their feet over the past two or three months and uh, the results have been a bit more positive. So it could be quite an even game today? It could be. Come out as well in the last two or three games have picked up some points, although they've only about six or seven league games left to play. I grew up in Ochiltree, so it's just a wee village literally up, up the road, so my life growing up was Auckland and Cumnock. It was either going shopping with my mum in that Tesco just there, mm-hmm. or going out to Cumnock. Yeah, but th- this is my life. So. But when you were really young, your parents wouldn't let you come to this derby. So Why is that then? I, I grew up in this area, and I was never ever allowed to come to this derby. I must have asked my mum and dad about 20 times. Just the reputation of the derby or what? See when I was younger, you would see in the papers, you would see police horses, you would see bottles getting thrown. I think there's images online you'll be mm-hmm. able to find. Yeah, the famous it buck fast would, mate, this game right wielding guy, absolutely yeah. absolutely mental. And I'm going to say something else as well. What other non-league game do you know that fans are separated by stewards and segregation? I was going to bring see, that up later see, in the video. How many games do you come to at this level where it's just I've a mixture of fans? It, like, I've never seen a, I don't think maybe once Maybe a cup final or something, I've seen segregation, but usually these games, like you say, they don't have segregation, but today it will. I've, we've, we've seen our derbies, we've seen our non, non-league derbies, but see this derby right here, Sam, honestly, I grew up in it, obviously I've never been to it, but I've heard things about it, and I can understand why mum and dad didn't want me to come in here when I was mm-hmm. younger. Must be the same for you, I get requests, every time this derby comes around, a couple of weeks out, I'm getting messages. Uh, yeah. People I'm getting quite comments, nervous thinking about exactly, it. Yeah. Today's going to be an electric atmosphere, um, but you're going to see some fierce, fierce passion. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And how's the channel going? Channel's going well, mate. Aye, channel's going well. Police helicopters are out already, mate. What's your name? George. Your birthday today? Uh, How old is he today, lads? Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Few pints. Are you all Talbot fans? <laughs> Big day today, isn't it, the derby? Hi. What do you think the score's going to be? Uh, 5-4 Talbot. 5-4? 4 one I hope it's 5-4, mate. That'll be some video. Look at this. What a turnout. Sixth tier. I know it's a derby in there, fairly close. That's the away end behind there, segregated. And then you've got home fans all around there and all down here as well. I'm not sure what the official attendance will be. I don't know if they'll read it out or whether they'll announce it later online. All back goes to Oh! It's a little bit more subdued in here than what I was imagining. It's a two o'clock kickoff today, and I don't think this derby quite has the needle that it maybe once had years and years ago, but that goal has got the ultras up, and it is 1 0 to Talbot here. How are you doing, mate? You're right. I already. How's yeah, I'm in the Union Scottish Junior Cup. You'll we'll be back. That's this, the one. We'll yep. be back this year again. Mate. Yeah, you're in the semis, aren't you? This year against Darvel. Yeah. You reckon you win the Junior? You reckon you win the Junior Cup again oh, this year? Fifteenth time that will be, mate. won't it? Oh, mate. Nice one, mate. Good luck, man. Cheers. Good, Good, to, right, Good to chat, mate. See you soon. Yeah. 
<laughs> half time. Right. Good to chat, mate. See you in the second half. Free kick and Talbot are two up now. What do you think of the game there? Good. And the atmosphere? Huge thanks to everyone who creates the atmosphere and wants to come on the videos in occasions like this. I know there's huge rivalries and hatred between Cumnock and Talbot, so um, yeah, I really do obviously appreciate all the support from the Talbot fans, but I'm sorry Cumnock fans, it wasn't your day today. Great to finally tick off this derby, a bit of a bucket list derby weirdly enough, even though it's between two relatively unknown teams sort of globally I guess, like there's bigger derbies in the world that I've been to, but this is always one that I've always wanted to see, so good occasion, good game, good atmosphere. Maybe not quite as big and as angry as I maybe was expecting it to be, but still really glad I came. I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen. One will be an old Talbot video, so you can learn more about them and see them maybe win a cup or maybe beat Hamilton or something. One of the big games to Talbot, and I'll leave another derby on screen. I'll leave the Madrid derby on screen, one of the biggest derbies I've ever been to. So yeah, please click on one of these to carry on watching. Thank you so much, and goodbye.